let's talk a little bit about what used to be referred to as grihastha ashrama this ashrama this phase in life this is where i am a grihastha as a grihastha what is it that i'm supposed to do well in the first place i have to go make a living but that living has to be an offering to society it's not just a job but it's an offering to society for which i get compensated and that compensation that i get i not only have to support my family but i also have to support society so a section of that has to be offered to society in some form some form or fashion and it's an offering it's not charity it is what we call dana it's an offering and during that phase we have the greatest responsibility the greatest offering we make to society or the children so the children that we have is not my personal property but it is the future citizenry of society so my job as a grihastha is to make sure that these children from the time they are born until they are functioning adults i provide them the wherewithal whatever they need to grow up into good citizens of society once that is done we say krishna arpana and we offer it to society it's not my personal property i cannot live my life through my children they are individuals of their own they have their own ideas they'll do their own thing i cannot say that i could not do something and therefore my child has to do that that doesn't make any sense so during grihastha ashrama three important things in my opinion three very important things happen of course you can enjoy life and enjoy the company of your spouse and children friends all of those is nobody stopping that nobody stopping that but the outcome the outcome of that phase of life is a in my opinion there are three of them the very first one is whatever we do professionally like i am a professor that's what i do i do research i teach that's what i do out of that should come some benefit for society whatever we do we don't all have to be teachers or whatever we do of course we're going to get comp- compensated that goes without saying but the outcome of that should be some good thing for society whatever that is so you have to look at ourselves so what am i doing it's not just about how much money i make it is what effect what use is it for society what i'm doing how does it help people that's the fir- that's the very first thing the second thing like i already said or the children so if we we are successful grihasthas if we offer good children to society there's a third there's a third component which often times we tend to ignore which is that is the time because before that you were a student right so this is the time you also start together the man and the woman together start spiritual journey so along with the physical and the mental companionship and all those things the third important thing is to make sure that we also do for example in olden days they used to do homa and things like that because this creates good energy so we have to together the man and the woman together have to do some some spiritual thing what is i'm not saying everybody should sit and do a homa but something something spiritual so that we create good energy in society if we do those three things then we definitely would have had a very very good useful productive enjoyable family life